Hello, welcome to the Counter Attack playthrough series. We're finishing up our Operation Dauntless tutorial scenario five um, playthrough. It's fifth and last turn. Uh, British reset phase. Um, let's see, so I've reset all the British long range mortars, or heavy mortars, I should say, all their off map artillery. Um, they have a spent marker going back into their assets pool. Then they're drawing an asset, which is no asset. Uh, that goes out of the game. Um, there's a German uh, 105 millimeter artillery coming in. And that's it. Uh, yeah, everything's reset. Action phase. Well, what do we have going on here? These are worth two points by being wounded to the Germans. Um, if I move them, they can't recover. So I'm just going to try to recover them in place. And um, let's see. They're not adjacent to the enemy unit, and they're out of line of sight. So that's plus one. And that's the only other bonus. So I need to roll a five or six. I'm rolling two dice. Got a three and a two. So. Missed out on getting those two points back. It's another guy here. He gets plus three to his die roll, so he has to roll a three, four, uh, yeah, four, five, or six. Uh, three, four, five, six. I rolled a four, so uh, he does recover. Okay, I got a point back there. Um, other action phase activities. Well, I want to try to take as much territory as I can from the Germans and kill Germans. These guys are sort of stuck here. Uh, I want to get some guys back in this bocage. It's going to pay one to leave the zone of control. One and a half, enter his zone of control. Actually, he's not in his zone of control because he's in close terrain. So he's just going to go half, enter his zone of control, stop. Half, which is under control, stop. Um, see, I gotta be careful because there is artillery, one artillery blast still available to the Germans. Um, do, like, I'm just trying to decide, do I wanna pull, throw these guys in to an attack on these guys? Could have done, tried a, what's it called, a uh, assault, but I need to, I'm not sure who's winning here. I think it's the British, but. Um, we need to take this town, that's worth two points. So this guy will come in like this, like this. Um, let's see. Yeah. Kind of spread thin here a little bit. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna bring this guy over here. You got four... Oh. Potentially get a lot of guys attacking this location. Six to eight, not so hot. So I think I'll move him, this guy. Oh wait, I can't move him, he just tried to recover. Um, okay. Range attacks, no. So, going a little risky here, but I think it's totally fine. These guys back here, useless right now. My mortar's back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can hit everyone they see that are visible on the board. My heavy mortars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Heavy mortars can hit everybody. They are way back here, the four guys there. Okay, uh, anything else I wanna do for my action phase? I think that's uh, negatory. Um, are there any just range attacks I'm gonna do? Yes. My four I'm gonna have my four um, heavy mortars bombard this location, as well as the two light mortars or regular mortars. So I'm gonna have six mortars bombard this position as ranged fire. Then we're gonna do a combat against this location with these three hexes. Um, I'll declare support after my ranged attack. So um, all six mortars have an attack of five. The only difference they have really is their range. So we're gonna have a five bombarding here. It's gonna be plus one for having at least a company. Um, and I think that's it. Um, spotters are adjacent, so there's no penalty there. 
Um, you know, I guess since this is the combat phase, I should unrotate these guy, everybody. I guess I got a few of them, but okay. Um, yeah, I think it's just uh, plus one for yeah, because they're not dug in or anything. So plus one. Got a nine plus five is fourteen. Plus one is 15, so that's just a suppress. But that does help um, prevent them from doing ranged fire uh, in support of the defense when this comes. Okay. 10 plus 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Another suppress marker. 7, nope. Five, nope. So that's all the heavy mortars, not the light mortars. Nine plus five is 14, plus one is 15. There's another suppress. Five, nope. Okay, so I'm rotating all the mortars into their fired position out of off camera. Okay, so these guys are suppressed. No one got hurt. It doesn't really, no point in tracking all those suppress markers because the net effect is that they can't do ranged attacks. Didn't harm them. Okay, now for this combat, these three hexes are gonna attack here. Um, the support I'm bringing in is, um, let's see, do I wanna have any support in reserve? Yeah, I'll keep my six, I think I'm gonna keep my six gun, six strength gun batteries in reserve. I'll have three of them, maybe I'll keep two in reserve since I fired all my mortars. So we'll allocate these guys to the attack here. The Germans are going to allocate this guy to the attack and uh, or in defense, and I don't see any other things they can do in terms of like ranged fire. Hmm. I think this guy can see this guy. This guy's up on a hill, looking over this guy into there, which means I can see back. Pretty sure that's correct. So I think that guy can support by attacking here. So we'll do that as well. Okay, let's start with these guys here. Um, defense, there's no dug in marker. There's, so it's just a, it's a plus one for having a company size unit there. Five plus seven, nope. 12 plus seven uh, plus one is 20. Huh. Uh, that's a suppression and two step reductions. Um, that's devastating. Am I missing any modifiers? I don't think so. 20. So let's see, two of these guys fired so far. That's correct. Uh, 20. Oh, sorry, two suppression or suppression and two step reductions. Yeah, I mean, it's just got to be these guys. It's two points right there. Okay, suppressed. Um, this battery, seven plus six is 13, plus one is at 14. There's just another suppress. And then the six battery, five plus six, 11, plus one is 12, nope. Um, this guy, six, he's gonna drop on the L light bocage here, I guess. Yeah, uh, oh, I should go here. Oh, wait, no, they can't. that's not part of the combat. These guys here. Um, yeah. So, six. This is just six plus one for company. Eight plus six is 14, plus one is 15. That's a suppression. This guy's out of the game. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this guy can fire onto here. It's going to be plus one for a company size unit, minus one for close terrain. Six plus three, nada. Okay. Uh, let's clear all these guys off. They won't be mattering. Take them out of the game. Um, 
we got these suppressed markers here. These two cancel each other out. Got one remaining. It's going to be destruction here. So 8, 12, 20, 28 to 2, 14 to 1, 15 to 1, 16 to 1. Um, back to 15 to 1 for engineers. Uh, which, of course, we're just rolling on 5 to 1. And uh, 6 on the 5 to 1. It's 3. 3 losses. Well, he can retreat 3. I guess I can give up a point to save a point. Oh, he would die. if he dies, they'll get two points. So um, we'll just go one, two, and three across the river. Um, over there. Okay, advance after combat. Come in like this. Um, I guess I want these guys to stay there. Okay, we got the whole town. It's the end of the combat phase. Uh, take the suppression marker off, retreat marker off. Okay. German turn. Okay, reset phase. I just did that. Action phase. This guy's gonna go one, two, three, into enemy zone of control. Stop. This guy's gonna play one to exit enemy zone of control. Five, enter, stop. Done. So basically, I'm trying to preserve that one point. Um, I, I actually didn't look it up, but. You know, these guys exert zone of control into that hex, meaning they control it. These guys exert onto zone of control into that hex. Who wins? I don't know. Um, I'd have to look it up, but if I just put that guy there, it makes it that much easier. Okay, done. Um, no one can make ranged attacks. Combats will be just too bloody. They'll lose more than they give. Combat phase, done. End of game. I bet the British won. So, um, that was interesting. Bit of a slog. So far, in all these scenarios, I feel the Germans are at a severe disadvantage. But uh, again, they're learning scenarios. They all seem to be told from the British standpoint, maybe because the British player is the attacker. Okay, let me uh, stop pontificating and figure out what the points are. Okay, uh, here's how it breaks down. The British took the four town hexes, two points each, that's eight points. Plus, they destroyed nine single step leg infantry units. So that's a total of 17 points. The Germans wounded two British companies, that's two points, and retained four Bocage or Woods hexes. So a total of six. So what was that? 17 to 6. Um, so overwhelming victory. Um, yeah, I should actually see if there's more to it than that. Let's see, victory conditions. Um, yeah, so it's just straight straight victory point differenti differential. Um, overwhelming British win. All right, and that ends all the infantry-centric tutorial scenarios. Catch on the next one.